ICT Main Stage continues their 2011-2012 season with the Alan Ackborn comedy drama, Woman in Mind. Here's a preview. Sit up, Pikelet. What? Well, skater, baby. What are you saying? Oh, there I... seems to be some kind of communication problem between Susan, the lady of the house, and this stranger. Martha had sick on the bed. When the lights come up, she is waking up from being hit in the head by a garden rake. Sick on the what? Oh, squeezy cow, squeezy. I've no idea what you're saying. What are you saying? She's been knocked unconscious, and there the doctors next to her. And she totally can't understand him. He's speaking gibberish. Ellen Ackbourne's dark comedy, Woman in Mind, tells the story of Susan, a middle-aged woman who's reached a point in her life when nothing makes sense, especially her unsatisfying marriage. You know, I'd sleep at night if I could. I'm finding it very difficult recently. Probably surprising if you sleep all day. What do you want, Joe? Do you want me to do something for you? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. no. Don't stir yourself on my account. But Susan also has another happier relationship that, in her mind, makes perfect sense. You do spoil me far too much. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Perhaps. If we do, I'll tell you why it is. Because we'd all be lost without you. There's only one of you, you see, unfortunately. <laughs> we all need you very much. Me, most especially. As she goes through this little journey that she goes through, you know, you know, she has these dreams, like I said, and then, but then there's a reality in how she deals with that reality. J. Allen Hanna directs the show and says the greatest challenge of Woman in Mind is remembering the comedy part of this comedy drama. I need that lightness and that, you know, that humor in this dark comedy. Uh, that was the fun part, you know, as we go through, because like I said, the, the drama was the easy part, but trying to find the comedy out of it, and there's a lot of comedy. It's, it's one of those where, you, you know, you, you laugh, but it may not be one of those guffaw kind of laughs. It's one of those, you know, those kind of like, oh, that's funny, that's funny, I like that. Dana Harrison, who portrays Susan, has the challenge of carrying the story. Uh, it's a subjective show. It's told from Susan's viewpoint. And um, so you don't see or hear anything that Susan doesn't see or hear. Like when she closes her eyes, that's when it goes dark on the stage because we can't see what she, she can't. She that's what happens when Susan's forced to confront her husband and sister-in-law. If you like, I don't think he'll agree. In fact, I'm only waiting here because he insists on carrying me up to bed. Splendid. Just look at the rose garden today. It's a mass of peace and rest. Ah, here we come now, I do believe. Good morning, Mrs. Oh, Gannett. Mrs. Gannett, which is Susan. You remember them now, your husband and your sister-in-law, Mrs. Hello. Gannett. Hello, dear. Another cup of tea, Susan. Woman in Mind is a darkly comic story where reality and fantasy are sorted out on stage. Don't miss the chance to see Woman in Mind. This is Kathy Whiteman reporting. What happened to Mother? I'm dying to know. How did she bang her head? Well, you see... Andy, don't you dare. I'm not having them screaming with laughter at me. Oh, we are not going to oh. scream with laughter, are we, Tony? Absolutely not. Well, you might not, Lucy, but he is bound to. There's no big deal about it. All that happened Andy, was... Andy, don't you dare. <laughs> All that happened was Susie went into the old potting shed in the tin bath in there Slipped off the nail and fell on it. Oh, God! <laughs> well, thank you, darling. Thank you. I know then to task ten bucks. <laughs> and she was in <laughs> such pain, she came hopping out of the shed, cursing and swearing, and uh, stood on the garden rake. Oh, <laughs> Annie, you're me! <laughs> ICT Main Stage presents Woman in Mind January 20th through February 4th at the Dupree Theatre. For tickets and showtimes, call 972-252-ARTS.